Hello and welcome to this quick tour of Oracle Apex. So to start off I'm just going to go to our site apex.oracle.com You'll find lots of great information on this site and you can just click on get started for free to go and sign up for a free workspace. I'm just going to go and sign in and I'll put in my workspace, my username and my password. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into the application builder, which is where you'll spend the majority of your time. And I'm just going to create a new application. And I'll just create one from a file. This one's called Movies XLS. And I'll just give this a table name. And I'll go ahead and load the data. This is loading up a CSV, XLS, a XML or JSON document in the background. And you'll see it's loaded up 9,674 rows. So I'm just going to go ahead and create an application on this. I'm just going to call it Movies. And you'll see that it's got an interactive report with form based on the table Movies that it just created. And a dashboard screen. I'll just go ahead and check all the features because of the fact I want access control, feedback and so forth. And create my application. So let me go ahead and run this application. So at the moment this is using Apex credentials, however you can also easily utilize single sign-on, LDAP, social login and various other custom authentications if you choose. So what started out life as a simple spreadsheet, I now have in a database application with 9000 odd records loaded into an Oracle table and I can go in and modify any of these details here. You can see that this is a calendar because of the fact it's a date. Number fields, if I put in a non-numeric value and try and save it, then it will give me an error and so forth. And so I have this single source of truth by just simply sending out this URL to any of my users. But let's go back into the application builder. So I just want to crow across to second major component here, SQL Workshop. And you'll see that we have an object browser and this is designed so application developers can create and maintain database objects so we've got things like tables views indexes etc and if we just go and have a look here's the table that we just created from the spreadsheet movies and the various columns in there then we also have these other sample tables here which are related to projects with milestones tasks and so forth so what i'm going to do now is just go and build a second application based on those existing tables. So I'm just going to create a new application, call it Projects, and I'm just going to start adding in pages. So I'm going to add in a cards page for the projects themselves. Click my Projects table. I'm going to show the name, the description, and we'll do the project lead. Add that page in. I'm also going to add in what's called an interactive grid for milestones. I want to add a report and a form, a very common user interface on the web for tasks. And I'll include the form. Here I've got the option of actually selecting some lookup columns, so instead of showing the project ID, I want to show the project name. And instead of the milestone ID, I want to show the milestone name. I'll add that page in. And now I'm also just going to add in a dashboard. And the first one, just be project budgets. And I'm going to use my view here. So project name and the budget and similarly for the second one I'm going to do project cost again I'll use my view for the third one I'm actually going to do a pie chart on the status And I actually want to move that dashboard up here, so I'll just drag it up. Once again, I'm going to include all the features, 
and create my application. So let's have a quick look at this application. First of all, go to the dashboard. We'll see the charts that we added in. I want to get rid of this one here. So let me just quickly edit this chart. And this is called Page Designer, which is where you'll spend a lot of your time. I'm just going to right click and delete. And in fact, I want to change the positions of these. I'm going to put the status up in between the budget and costs. And I'm going to bring the cost down below. OK, let's just save that. As soon as we save a change, it's saved as metadata, so we can immediately run and see the new application. This looks good to me. Let's have a quick look at the other pages we created through the wizard. So we have this cards region. If we go down to milestones, we have an interactive grid whereby I can update details directly within here. And then under tasks, we have the report. And then we have a form. So if I just go back up to the dashboard very quickly here, one thing to note about Apex is it's fully responsive. So if I'm displaying this on a tablet, for example, you'll see that the menu is collapsing. If I'm showing this on a mobile device, then you'll see that it's actually putting the regions one underneath each other so that they all fit on the page. Let's just go back to full size. Now if I go back into our application development environment, last thing I want to quickly show you here is the app gallery. And in here we have a number of productivity applications and also sample applications. So I'm just going to quickly install the sample charts. And these applications take less than two minutes to install, but I'm just going to cut out a little bit of the installation time. And we can run this application. So we've got all sorts of different charts from different sorts of area charts to bubble charts, box plots, uh, various different line charts and so forth. And again, going back into the development environment, this time I'm just going to go and install a productivity application. So I'm going to select P-Track. So let me just run this application. And first off, I just need to select the features and what have you that I want. I'm just going to leave everything as default and run it. These productivity apps are designed as point solutions that can enable you to get up and running to solve various business problems within minutes. So thank you very much for watching this quick tour of Oracle Apex.